welcome to our second Rediscover Your Stash video. For this video, we have challenged ourselves to use colored cardstock on a layout. So I've chosen three sheets of cardstock and some vellum that matches my photo. I'm using a big 8x10 photo. This layout changes uh, dramatically and this process video is almost going to be a um, process video of errors. So this layout gave me all kinds of fits. I have to tell you the truth, it really did. I had a plan in my head when I started and then it just kind of fell apart. So <laughs> grab a cup of coffee, sit back, and get ready to have just a good laugh. I started by deciding I wanted to do a tone on tone stenciling on these two cardstock sheets. So my paint is, I believe it's Claudia Helmuth Studio Paint. It's a shade of yellow and a shade of red and this is really, really thick acrylic paint. So this paint is very thick and it, um, also has a gloss to it. So what I'm doing is I'm just putting the paint through my stencil and I'm going for something, I wanted to color match them as closely as I could to be able to get like a tone on tone and then have the glossy. It'll give it a little texture and I actually really like this technique and I like the way my papers turned out. So I did one yellow and one red and I used two different stencils. And I didn't cover so I covered the paper, the cardstock, but I didn't cover it completely because I'm just gonna cut it all up anyway. And I knew going in that I was just pretty much gonna cover or um, cut the cardstock all up. So I went ahead and let everything dry. And then I came back and everything is dry now and you can see how the red almost matches completely and it's really just a tone on tone. So now I'm gonna cut this cardstock up and I'm gonna cut it into just chunks. So I was inspired by Erit Langraff. She often will cut um, papers or use scraps of papers. And then she takes those papers and she sews them down. And I have been absolutely loving this technique when she does it. And I thought, well, I'm going to give this a try. So a couple of things that I will say about it. First of all, it's not as easy as it looks. Secondly, be careful how much of a thickness you end up before you sew. And I really, really should have known that. This isn't my first rodeo. I've sewn on papers before. I don't know what I was thinking. So I go ahead and I layer on my vellum sheet. And then I put down my photo just to get the placement. And you'll see me here kind of fidget with it just a bit and make sure that it's really nice and even. I didn't, I really wanted it to be from the top to the bottom and I didn't have to worry about anything. So here I am putting my photo down and then I think, well, I probably shouldn't glue it down just yet. So I pull it up, flip it over and that's the last time you're going to see my photo. And I still today doing this voiceover, I still cannot figure out where I laid the photo. I know I laid it somewhere so that the, so the glue wouldn't, um, catch on anything but your guess as to where I laid it would be as good as mine because I cannot find it. So I go ahead and layer up all these papers like you see here and I wanted to stitch them all down. I wanted to create these like white stitch lines, beautiful white stitch lines because I thought that it would go with my son's sweater in the photo and it would be awesome and then it was just disaster because I was trying really hard to sew too much, too many layers. So my threads kept breaking and I, I had so much problems. So what I ended up doing was I ended up sewing the strips of paper to a piece of copy paper and then just cutting the copy paper away. So I still had my border strips. So I'm still trying really hard to make this work. My lighting in this part of the video is pretty bad because we have been, we, it was pouring outside. It was so, so dark while I was putting this layout together. Um, so we've been having so much rain here. We actually were under a flood watch. So it was really dark and my lighting kind of goes in and out throughout this video just because of the weather outside. So I'm just trimming up my borders and I'm not loving this at all. And I also still can't find my picture. So the picture you saw at the beginning with um, my son in his sweater with all the stripes. Yeah, I can't find it. I can't find it anywhere. 
So right now I'm thinking, okay, this layout is super messy. The stitching is bad because I kept breaking threads. So I'm just going to hit it with a whole bunch of Dilutions white spray. And I still could not find my photos. So I went, I got some coffee, I came back, I searched and searched my scrap room, and I had to replace it with a different photo. Um, and this one doesn't have the red in it. So I'm kind of like, okay, deep breath. We're going to make this layout look intentionally messy. And we're going to use this other photo of my other son. I actually have from this photo shoot a lot of photos. But I only have like maybe three more to scrapbook. So I just have the three eight by tens. So I go ahead and I put that photo down. And now it's just like covering up disasters. <laughs> so from here on out, the goal of this layout is just to create something that looks okay. I'm going to go ahead and start with by fussy cutting out these feathers. And I'm going to do this just to add more color because now that I don't have um, my red sweater, the, the red kind of looks odd. But I'm thinking so if I add some of these fussy cut feathers around and add just a little more pop of color, um, the feathers will kind of make everything go together somewhat. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to fussy cut these feathers out. So here I am, and I'm just going to create some layers. So I need to put a title down, and I'm going to create three sets um, of embellishments. And just remember, you are more than welcome to play along with Christina, Sorge, and I in rediscovering your stash. You can pull out some colored cardstock. You can tag us on Instagram. You can leave a comment below if you um, have a layout you do on the blog post. So pull out your colored cardstock and um, get creating. And I am sure I would love to see your layouts, and I'm positive that they would be better than this one <laughs> because we we've now hit the point where we're just covering stuff up. Like I. It, it's intentionally messy, but I kept to my visual triangle, which I think helped a lot. So I have my title down, and here's this acrylic piece that I'm going to use. I'm also going to grab some uh, white enamel dots that you'll see here, and I scatter them all over the place because my di I didn't give my dilution spray ink enough time to dry, so parts of it were still tacky, and then I was lo it was. I smudged it everywhere. Oh my goodness. So <laughs> we had to cover that up. So the ones that were terribly smudged, I covered them up with white enamel dots. So there's lots of enamel dots on this layout. So that wood veneer there, I placed it there because there was glue there from the first time I tried to glue down the borders. And I needed to cover that up so my layout didn't stick to everything. And that was okay anyway because I had that wood veneer piece down at the bottom of my layout. And then I'm going to go find a wood veneer piece to add to the third cluster of embellishments. And I re replaced the flares that I had originally pulled with new flares from my stash. Um, I did some stash diving throughout this layout to try to change it up once I knew that... Um, my first photo had disappeared and I needed to um, rethink my embellishments. So here's the layout. Everything is glued down and we are calling this done. <laughs> We're going to put it in the layout and put it in the album and move on. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in two weeks for another Rediscover Your Stash.